Good morning! It is a new studio vlog. I feel like it's been forever since I filmed a studio vlog. So yay! If you are new here, welcome. I am Becca and on this channel, I talk all about how I run my small Etsy jewelry business and I'm so excited to start this studio vlog this week and be back on here. Last week, I took the whole week off. I had a weekend away over the weekend and I spent the whole week prepping um, for going away for the weekend. I know that seems like a lot, but I'm extra and I plan a lot. So um, I had had the last week off of studio vlogging and I had already filmed a video. So I just rested and chilled, but it felt so weird not coming on and talking to you guys every day. So I'm so happy to be back and um, I'm excited for this week. I feel refreshed and renewed after my weekend away. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know this, but I went away for a weekend to my husband's hometown. He surprised his best friend for his 40th birthday. Yes, we are getting older and I love every second of it. It was so fun and um, it was his childhood best friend. I mean, he's still his best friend to this day, but they grew up together and um, I'll insert a couple pictures. It was so cute and they were very excited to see each other and uh, his best friend was really excited to see him that he and loved that he flew out just for his surprise birthday. So it was awesome. We had a great weekend. We didn't bring our kids with us. They stayed with my sister. So I feel a little bit renewed, I'm not gonna lie. Little little weekend away with the hubs. It was glorious and we loved it. So um, anyway, all that to say, I'm excited to be back on here for this studio vlog. I'm excited for this week. On Instagram today, I just put up a to-do list for today and I'm gonna follow. have you guys follow along with me as I complete that to-do list for today and I will also be filming here. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out over there. Becca Boer Jewelry on Instagram and you can see how I live my life a little bit in the background of the background of my small business. That is a layered web of things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, oh, another thing I did this weekend was I talk about my sister-in-law a lot and I shared her ASMR video a, a couple weeks ago and uh, she is in the hometown where my husband lives as well. So I got to visit her and have a really cool breakfast meeting with her and another small business owner who we just all got together and talked about our goals and what we want out of our businesses. And it was just incredible. And I think that it is so important to have community as we're running a small business. And I've talked about this before when I kind of talked about starting a Patreon and and how I think it's so important. And I and I really just felt like that so solidly this last weekend with visiting them and being able to just sit and talk about goals and ideas. And it really just solidified to me. I know how important that is. And so I am going to keep working on building a Patreon and get that started because I want to be able to offer that to you guys as well. And I mean, it was incredible. Like, we just each sat and listened to our goals. And sometimes as a small business owner, other people can't relate to that because they're not on that same journey. So it's so important to find people who can. And I totally want to create that for us here. So I'm really excited. I'm going to keep plugging on with my Patreon ideas. I promise it's coming at some point. It is just not going to happen overnight because I want to make sure I do it right and that I pour enough time and energy into it. So that was another thing I gained from this weekend. It was incredible. And I do totally feel rejuvenated and ready to start this week. This week is going to be pretty cool. I've got to film my ASMR video this week. So I've got two videos coming out this week. I have got to fulfill some orders, which is perfect because I'm going to do them ASMR style. It's really sweet. My husband, after he gets home from work today, he's going to take my kids and run some errands and get everybody out of the house so that I can film ASMR in complete silence. I did not want to ask my sister this week after having watched my kids all weekend. So I love you, April. Thank you. So filming ASMR, I've got some orders to pack. I also have some new backing cards, bracelet backing cards that I made over the weekend on my flights while I was flying in the air. I was drawing and I came up with some new ones that I think are gonna be awesome. I have a girls night 
craft fair coming up in September. So I want to start prepping for that. And I made a couple backing cards for that. So if you see them, I want to warn you, there's a curse word in it. Anyway, but I will be showing you guys some of the backing cards that I have coming up for bracelets and necklaces and all the fun things that are to come. So it's going to be a busy week and a fun week. So let's go. Let's get her done. And I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. And thank you for watching my journey. Bye. See you soon. See you soon. It's not weird. I did it anyway. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. This printer is kind of being mean to me today, and I don't really know why. Alas, it's making me waste paper, and I hate that because it makes me feel sad and guilty. Um, but I just wanted to say, as I'm putting together my orders, thank you guys so much. If you ordered, you guys are the best and you are amazing and awesome. And I totally appreciate it so very much. You have no idea. And I also want to say, if you did order it and I'm not sure you are, and I can't tell if you are from coming from YouTube or not, um, leave a note for me if you are ordering, if you found me from YouTube. I would love to know who, what, when, where, what. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for ordering. You guys are the best and I appreciate it so much. I'm taking a quick break from my ASMR to cool my face down. <laughs> it's so hot in here. It is 3 p.m. because I had to do it later in the day because my husband is the one who took the kiddos today. So it is hot. Do you see my cheeks on fire? It's hot in here. I need to go cool my cheeks down. Also, I need to stop wasting time. But my ASMR is almost done. I know whispering's weird. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I am now done filming my ASMR. I've got you guys in the car with me because I wanted to catch you up, but I need to take these packages to the post office now. I have a post office that takes packages until 6 p.m. So today's timing worked out perfectly. And now I'm on my way to drop them off. Bada boom, bada bing, yay. I got my ASMR filmed. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I think it's a fun one. So I am almost done with the work week, work day today. And so today I'm gonna sign off. I have some more fun things to do tomorrow. One of those fun things includes printing off some new backing card designs, the ones that I was talking about earlier. I didn't get that done today. And when I get home, my husband will be home. So I kind of just want to hang out with the family. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. And sorry for the noise, I'm driving. Okay, TTYL. 
Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday now. I am rip roaring and ready to go. Um, can I just tell you guys something first? Please, please excuse this, okay? I can't put any makeup on. I think I have a skin condition, something's going on. I just got a prescription to hopefully see if it will go away. But in the meantime, I really shouldn't be putting makeup on it because I think it makes it worse. So this morning, I've done a bunch of things already. I've kind of already done some of the stuff I didn't finish doing yesterday, which was printing out some new backing cards that I had drawn up on my flight over the weekend. And I'm totally excited about them. I'm going to show you the first one. And the second one I don't really have done yet. I've got to make some adjustments to it. But Look how cute this is. I drew this up on the airplane. Let me get it so it doesn't have a glare. It, I don't know if this is backwards, but it says you got this and it is adorable. I'll pop a better picture up here, let's be honest. It says, let this bracelet be a reminder that you are amazing, strong and insanely awesome. When you are doubting your awesomeness, look at this bracelet and know you got this. And I also made a sticker to go with it. I, and so I'm gonna do this one just like the sunflower one in the kind of package deal and I love it. I'm so pumped about it. I think the colors are super pretty. I have a, a bunch more using this template that I'm excited to get up and going with a couple different sayings. So I feel really excited about that, got that done. I am also going to show you guys today how I make my Happy Mail stickers. I had somebody ask me how I make them. Let me show you the ones I have right now. These are the ones that I make right now beep, 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 beep. for my packaging. I also, because somebody asked this, I also made a few different designs and I'm going to upload them to my Etsy shop that is for small business owners. And that way, if you want to digitally download them and print them on your own, you can. And I'll show you the other design that I made and because I, I wanted to test them out and they're adorable too. Oh, the little happy mail stickers right there. So I've got that and I made a blue version of this for download if you guys want. So I will show you how I make those and you guys can decide if you want them or not or you guys can go on Canva and you can create your own. Yeah, let's get going and I'll show you exactly how I make my happy mail stickers. So I'm gonna pop on the computer. I'm gonna put my screen up so you guys can see exactly how I print my happy mail stickers. We can do it together. I use Cricut. So let's go ahead and op open up the Cricut app. Okay, so basically you need to download your image first. Let's go ahead and just assume that you already have an image that you're going to use. We're going to open this up on Cricut Design Spice. Full screen, please. Yes, sir. So let's pr create a new project. It doesn't ask me for any custom dimensions or anything. We're going to go to the little upload button on the left hand side with the cloud arrow. Upload. And we're going to go upload image. Go to browse. I'm super organized so I just like left it in my recents. <laughs> okay let's do the blue one since we haven't done the blue one. So we're going to open up my blue happy mail sticker here. Open you up. We're going to click complex. I always do this because I want my printing to be detailed. Continue. Um, if you scroll around, you can see the image is actually there, so it's good. We're going to continue. But if you need to, you can actually go in and select and erase pieces of this. I just know I don't need to, so continue. I've never had to use that part, honestly. I'm going to choose print, then cut. So I want this to print out this image, and then I'm going to run it through my Cricut. So let's upload that image. If you choose cut image, it will only cut the outside. It won't print. It'll just cut the outside shape and then that would be pointless. We would not want that. So now that that is uploaded, I'm going to click that and I'm that happy mail sticker and I'm going to go down here to the green right insert images button. Click. We're going to see that this is much bigger, but that's okay because I made it bigger so that the it would be higher quality. So we're gonna to go to this size on the top here, width and height. I know that I want this at two inches wide. So it will automatically adjust the image to be the correct proportion in height. So that's 1.827 inches. So now that I have this image here, I'm going to select it and I'm gonna copy it. So for me, that's Command C. And for you, that might be, you know, right click, copy and paste, whatever it is. Let's see, we can do that here too. You can right click, copy it, okay? So now I'm gonna do Command V, which is my paste button, or you can do the actual 
right click paste button here. Let's take this, let's move it up and I want it to be as close as possible and touching the top there. Same with this one. I want it all the way up upper left hand corner. <laughs> so now we're touching as close as possible. Nope, too close, too close, back we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that one more time. So let's paste it again, and I'm gonna move you over here. Now, I know that my Cricut dimensions can't be wider than 6.75, so I can only fit three there, okay? So now that I have all those three, take your mouse, left click, and drag. You can select all three that way, and then you can copy and paste those again. So copy, paste, and then I'm just gonna move them right below here with a little space in between. I'm gonna do it again. And keep going until my page is full. And that is my printable space is full. It is. It definitely has smaller di printing dimensions when you use Cricut because they need to put their black box around it. So I think that's about all I can do here. Can I go to eight? I wonder if I can go to 825 or nine. Let's let's push the boundaries and see if I can do this again. If I can get one more to fit on there. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, now, now you're gonna go Command A or you can use your mouse and drag and select them all. Normally I just hit Command A or if you're a PC, I think it's Control A. So you can select them all and then you're gonna go to the right bottom hand corner and it says attach and it's a paper clip. You're gonna click that. You need to hit attach before going to make it. Now, if you see up here in the right hand panel where all of these individual items are listed, it's got that yellow caution sign and it says it's too big. So image size needs to be 6.75 by 9.25. So I went too big on, oh, just by a hair. I'm going to command A select them all, I'm going to detach, all right? Detach, and I'm gonna take this last little line here. I'm gonna take, actually, see if I can go up just a little bit on these. Can I go up a little bit? I don't think I can actually, can I? Oh, I can here. I see a space where I can go up just a bit without overlapping my designs, so. I think it's that one. We're gonna give that a go. We'll see if it works, not really sure, okay. Now I'm at 9.25, excellent. So let's command A everything again, hit the right down bottom attach button, bada boom, bada bing, and yay, we don't have that yellow caution sign, okay? So just be aware if you see that yellow sign, it's not gonna fit to the page that you wanna be printing it on. And I think Cricut goes by US sizes, which is eight and a half by 11 for printing paper. So now we're gonna click on the right top make it button and it's green, let's click make it. Don't forget, you have to attach them all to print them out together. So now look, all of my beautiful Happy Mail stickers are here. They're looking good. So we're gonna continue and now we're gonna send it to the printer and I'm gonna show you what I do to send it to the printer. Send it to the printer. I'm gonna take away the bleed. I do not like the bleed on that. And I'm gonna say, use system dialog. Now, the system dialog is your computer's or your printer's dialog box. You can do more specified settings here. So click that, click that so that that button's green and you're going to be using your system's dialog. And now you're gonna hit print. Weird, super weird, but Cricut puts up the Dial the printer dialog behind this box. <gasps> it just popped up in front of the box. That's never happened. Weird. Okay, while well, I'm taking it. If it prints behind, just diminish your Cricut, your Cricut box and pop up your printer one, okay? Now, I see I definitely want media quality always. I'm going to select my main tray. That's where my sticker paper is in. And I'm also going to go down here and click specialty matte. I find that my paper, my printer prints way better quality when I use this setting. You need to find the setting that works best for yours so it might take a couple test tries. Now I'm always gonna go over to best quality, otherwise it will come out a little bit grainy. So now I'm just gonna pause for a quick second and go put my sticker paper in. And the sticker paper I am using for this is called Ha Issue for inkjet and laser printers and it's premium vinyl sticker paper, and I actually really like it. It's matte, it works really well. The Cricut black line doesn't smear on it, which I've had issues with with other paper, and I like the quality. So let's pop this in, and then we'll come right back and hit the print button. Okay, let's hit the print button. It is in, it is signed, sealed, delivered. Let's go. Print. 
Okay, so now that that's printed, we're going to put it on our Cricut mat and then I will adjust the dial and show you how I do the whole thingamajig. Let's go. Okay, as you can see, my sticker mat is well loved. So um, I need to make sure that I line these up as perfectly towards to the edges as I can. I find that it prints or it cuts, I'm sorry, it cuts so much better when I line those up just right. I'm also gonna use a little bit of masking tape just to make sure that that sticks down because my mat is definitely seeing some use and it needs just a little extra help being stuck down. Now that is secured to the mat. Let's go ahead and load that in our Cricut. So you're gonna insert this and you just make sure you press it all the way up against, all the, all the way against the left is how I make sure it's pushed in. And then you're just gonna hit the load button and it just drags it in there just perfectly. And now this time I don't want to die cut these, which means I don't want to cut the entire thing out. I just want it to kind of kiss cut it. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna set it to vinyl and you're just gonna click the blinking Cricut light. So now I'm gonna remove the top layer and hopefully we cut through. We did! It cut through and it cut right where it needed to. Look at that. So now that's how I print my Happy Mails sheets. If you guys want, you guys can go check them out in my small business shop and download the templates if you want. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask below. I always answer comments. Okay, I wanted to pop on and just quickly tell you about the You Got This card. I didn't say this before, but one of the reasons that I started doing this card right here was because my daughter, who is turning 12 tomorrow actually, is um, kind of struggles with anxiety sometimes. And she was getting nervous about going back to school and um, kind of started letting those things race through her head. And so I just wanted to make her a reminder for herself while she's at school, not with me, about um, how she's got this, how she is awesome, powerful, wonderful, strong, and can conquer anything. And so that is actually the motivation for why I made this, you got this bracelet, because I want my daughter to wear this while she's at school and think, I've got it. I know this is a reminder that I can do this. I just wanted to share the story behind it because I know that a lot of us, maybe we have kids that are kind of struggling with the same thing. Last year, the last year and a half was so weird for so many kids and it kind of threw her off. She never used to have anxiety about school and it kind of threw her off and now she is just got some little jitters about it and I wanted her to feel safe and confident and comfortable. So that's why I did that. So maybe you have somebody who's going through something similar. Um, you guys let me know below if you do, because it, the struggle has been real. The adjustment from COVID living has been really difficult for a lot of people. And so um, I know that this can come in handy for multiple situations. So that's my story behind it. Hi. Oh, hi there. This is what happens when creative juices start to fly just have messes everywhere. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to Thursday morning. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're well. This morning, I've got an order to put together and I've got more backing cards that I wanna print out. You guys saw this one, my You Got This one that I printed out and I'm in love with. And the next one I'm gonna be printing out is going to be my Girls Night Craft Fair one. And uh, I need to experiment with what I want to put on it, as in the jewelry, the bracelet. And I was thinking about making them best friend bracelets. So I need to print out the backing cards for my girls' night craft fair coming up in September. And I would love your guys' help on it. I need to find a bracelet to go with it. And I'm gonna mix and match and kind of mess around and experiment. And I'd love your opinion. I also wanna make a necklace card for the You Got This design I came up with. And I'm gonna be working on that today. I'm gonna to choose what necklace I wanna put with it. My energy level is a little low. I don't think I've had enough coffee yet. Don't worry, we'll get there. Oh, also, my office is so messy, guys. Okay, the truth is that this vlog is what keeps me clean. Honestly, if it didn't, I would just, if I didn't have this, I would just like shove things aside on my desk and work in a center that was clean because I am actually a very messy person. Ben is needy today. Hi, Ben. Did you want to play? <gasps> Did you? I just threw your ball like a million times. You don't think that's enough? 
You're so precious. How do you say no to that, guys? He's so precious. If I had it his way, I would never get any work done. Uh, let's get going. I'm going to take you with me. Let's have fun. I know the sign was given. It's in the way you move and in the sound of your heart. We tend to fall together, fall in love and still. Fall apart. So as hope is that we stay close. But it's the life that we chose. It takes time to get it right. Sleepless days and nights. We just need a little more. Just a little time for you and I. So stay. Cause when it's good, it's great So we can't see we're fading away So as hope is that we stay close But it's the life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time Okay, so I have been working for a little bit and I got this all put together, okay? I like it, I love it actually. And the little, the back of the, these aren't necessarily wish bracelets so you don't want them to break and fall off but like a little reminder on your wrist that that person is there for you or that they're your BFF or BBF if, in this case. So I couldn't think of another idea. Only this one came to me. I couldn't think of anything else to put on here but hearts that I have. Um, so if you guys have an idea for what should go on there, here's a blank one. Maybe your brain will function better than mine. My morning has been slightly interrupted. Actually, and by slightly, I mean completely all the time interrupted every five seconds. Nellie was playing in my office and she left a trail of things and my brain was not able to solely function on my current mission. So that's okay though. I still think that this turned out adorable and I'm actually loving it. La, la, loving it. Now for on my Etsy shop, that will be easy to offer because I can do different variations and I have all different color cord. So I could do anything for this, any color and let the variations be chosen really easily. However, for, for my craft event, it's gotta be done live there in person. So do you guys think I should do exact matches as in black, black, silver, silver, or like, you know, mix and match them like this. You guys let me know what you think. Not really sure how to prep that for the event, but I'm really excited because it turned out adorable and the colors are awesome. And I think, I don't have a sticker for this. Do you guys think I should also add a sticker to this? Okay, so I got that done, yay. I have not finished the rest yet, but I am going to have to take a short break to attend to my child. I'm going to have my nephew over for a little bit this morning and I need to run some errands. So I'll probably be back in five to seven hours. See you soon. Well, hello, I'm back. It is not five to seven hours later, it's just four hours later. So I'm gonna get popping on to my Procreate app and I'm gonna create this into a necklace shape because currently it's a four by six. So this is so fun though. I have all of my cards that I'm working on back here. I just am like into this drawing and creating bracelet cards things 
thing right now. I don't know why, but I'm like really into it and really liking the colors that they're coming out as well. They're aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs. So I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna adjust the you got this size and then I will show you guys when it comes out. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, for the reveal, that actually took me like two hours. <laughs> I needed to, I had to completely redraw it. Well, not completely, but I had to redo the entire top because it just didn't fit right on the card. So I redid it. You guys wanna see the necklace I put with it? I'm kind of excited about it. I'm absolutely in love. Oh, son of a nutcracker. There we go. What do you guys think? Um, Sir, stop falling out, sir. Okay, let's hold it gently. There we go. What do you guys think? Oh, it's so pretty. I am, okay. I'm in love with it. I'm going to stop fussing that. That keeps falling out, but I'm in love with it. I think it turned out really, really awesome. And I love this necklace for anybody struggling, honestly, with anything. You could be struggling with anxiety. You could be struggling with um, feeling down on yourself, whatever it is. It's just a sweet reminder that you got this. Yeah, so basically, I am excited. I think that turned out really good. I'm going to be done for today on the jewelry side of it. Actually, the next thing I've been, I worked on it a little earlier, but I'm going to continue working on my Christmas sales projections. I talked with my dad this morning and he is a finance guy for a for big businesses and so I was able to get some of his tips on forecasting for sales. Yeah, so I'm going to start plugging in some of the numbers that I got over my over my stats over the last few years and see if I can project my sales at least within a range so that I can be a little bit more prepared for Christmas this year. Last year I was not prepared at all and I got slammed and I was ordering supplies last minute, paying for rushed shipping, and it was so stressful. And I do not want to be in that situation again. So I'm going to be continuing with my sales projections and then coming up with what I need to be ordering uh, way ahead of time for Christmas. So that is going to be the rest of my day today. And I'm pretty sure that that would be boring for you to watch. So with all that said, I have to edit this vlog tomorrow. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys here. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Let me know what you guys are working on. I would love to see what you're working on. Are you guys thinking about Christmas yet? It keeps pulling up into my mind. It's pulling up. It keeps coming into my mind. So I'm thinking about Christmas, thinking about my craft fair coming up. I'd love to hear what you guys have coming up. Thank you guys as always for watching and for all of your love and support. And don't forget, if you order something, leave a note to the buyer upon checkout. I would really love to know if it's from you guys and just leave something extra special for you. Thank you guys. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Cancel. And look at this. Just a little time. Okay, I do like this. Why did it have to keep falling out?